You wake up. It feels as if it is a dream, but it is not. Your name is Delbert Haywood, and you are a janitor. You work at Buford J. Claybone High School, and Buford J. Claybone was a guy who did something famous. You're not exactly sure what it was, but, you know, as long as the check's cash. Anyway, being a janitor is hard. Now, you grew up in Blythewood, South Carolina with your mom and dad and little brother Rufus. And Rufus was a weird little kid. He's kind of weird grown up, too. He never graduated from high school like you did, so he just takes odd jobs wherever he can. He used to work at this barber shop till they up and fired him for no reason. And this one time, Rufus stayed awake for four straight days on a bet, started seeing things that weren't there. He was running around hollering, the Nazis are coming, run for the hills. He got a hold of your keys and stole a school bus. He got it as far as Lugoff Elgin before it ran out of gas. You found him asleep the next day in a field full of goats. But life is funny. Just when you think you're done with somebody, they go and do something that just melts your heart. When you were kids, Rufus played Little League. He couldn't spell or count past 10, but he sure could hit a baseball. And this one year, his team won a championship. They got a trophy and everything. Now, Rufus never had many possessions, but he sure was proud of that trophy. And last year was your 30th birthday. You weren't even expecting the present. It was a class ring. Your parents wanted to get you one when you graduated, but you couldn't afford it. You asked him how'd he pay for it, but he just smiled. It's good to have a brother. And at the end of the day, it ain't so bad being a janitor. Besides, in your dreams, you're not just a janitor. You're super invincible janitor man. Okay, they're, they're sort of walking near you. Wait. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> 